So let me know what you think about Previously those videos. Previously on The Walking Dead. In the comments down below. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! Put your hands up. Close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! Oh! Shit! Kate! Javi, don't! Hey. What do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. Gotta love Jesus is in this. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? you goddamn right she is. If you wanna shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? <laughs> Holy shit! Damn shame about Conrad. What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. Brother versus brother. Let the fun begin, boys. So I hope you guys enjoy all the videos. I'm going to be trying to bring a lot more content to y'all here soon. I hate what? being out so close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just going to get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little. In front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it. And that we didn't have to risk life and limb. Every damn day. For food and water. And gas for the stove. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. I know. It's just hard to get used to. That's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Another Here flashback. Is. Let's take it and go. <sighs> Empty. You've got to be fucking kidding me! God damn it! <sighs> of course it's empty. Why would we get that lucky? I mean, it's not like we needed it or anything. Easy, Kate. Maybe there's something else we can use in there. Yeah, okay, maybe. But we came out here for that tank. I just thought, this one time, we deserve to catch a fucking break. Friends. True. 
he was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. Kate worshipped him. Okay, so you recognized him. That's no reason to let it kill you. And it was going to kill you. I know. I know you're right. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead, muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. When it was on you? Oh my god. I'm right here, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're still alive. That's what matters. Can we go back now? I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back, but it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there for an empty can. There's got to be a safer place out there. Somewhere not so isolated. What makes you think it's going to be better anywhere else? Everything and everyone outside this door is dead. Exactly. How long until one of those things gets in? Welcome we to the show. Somebody's going to get hurt. Or worse. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cave. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can... Find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We're tired of being afraid every time we leave you guys alone. And it's just getting worse out there. Better to leave now while we still can. But what about Dad? What's he going to think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? We might never find him again. We have to look out for ourselves now, Gabe. I wish things were different. Our safety's more important. But we're safe here! No. We're not. I'm sorry, Gabe, but... Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe? Honey? What? What's, what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean, he, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay. Uh... What are we going to tell him? I want to say something good. Something that won't make him sad. Just tell him we love him. All of us. And nothing's gonna change that. Not ever. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really.
Welcome to the show. Stick around, enjoy it. So, episode three. This should be interesting. So let me know what you think about the uh, video, the comments down below, tell your friends, family, come hang out with me. We're going to play a lot of different stuff, as well as uh, talk about some tech in some other videos, uh, now that I have some more free time. Really, I really love what Telltale's done with, with a lot of their games. The Walking Dead has been a really great series. Uh, I've even played the Michonne miniseries. Uh, even though I don't have those on the channel, uh, I do plan to put those up if enough of you enjoy those type of games and I'll be more than happy to play through them again and put them up there for y'all. Uh, but we're just going to mainly have a lot of different stuff to entertain you and keep you informed. So I'm not going to talk too much from here on out so we can watch this together. Episode 3, Above the Law. Let's do it! Dad? Javi! Is that really you? <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. I... I thought you were dead, man. I, I thought you'd been dead for, for a long time. No such luck. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, hon. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. We got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. Thanks, Javi. For getting her here. She's coming inside! But she hasn't been changed. This is my wife, Max. You want her to die? No, I didn't say that. Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. It's how we keep it safe for everyone. Don't you get it? I'm David's brother. I'm going to the hospital with them. We have procedures here. Procedures that have to be followed. Even if you are related to David. God, this is bullshit. Come on. The sooner you come along, the sooner we can get you cleared. Hey, David! Let's go. Hmm. Huh. That's kind of cold-blooded. Brother just dissed him. Trip. Oh God, Eleanor! When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. They definitely didn't look for her, because she was still in the car. But that's crazy! I told them she was dying! And clearly it wasn't a priority. 
Well, at least those assholes realized she needed a hospital once they saw her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. They're new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, 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 you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott Hobby, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Hobby. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it, that shit. I gotta be realistic on this. I hate to admit it, but there's a chance he gave the order. If he didn't know it was them, if he was just trying to get payback for what was stolen, it's possible. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough to see you up there, at least at first. Things between me and him were complicated. Some days we'd be at each other's throats. Other days we could shoot the shit for hours and still find stuff to talk about. So he's a moody son of a bitch, huh? If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just going to let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But... People died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Kate's asking for you. But maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Hurry up now. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll put in a good word for you, okay? See if we can't hurry the process along a bit. Thanks. All right, guys, so that's the first part. I think we're just gonna keep it on going. Go along with them for now? That doesn't sound good. We have a process, our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. 
I hope that's clear. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. Didn't sound that way. They just need time to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. I can see you know what this is about. He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? We got along well. Her smile kept me going through a lot of rough times. That... must have been nice. How... how did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. I know this is hard, Javi, but I need to know. The same assholes attacked this town with Prescott. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. There you go. You got the hang of it. Leave the talking to me. I run security here, but it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Well... Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Welcome to civilization. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ava. Oh, is it now? You didn't say he was a gentleman, David. That's because he's not. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house at the start. I'm sorry I never found you. We waited for you for three months. Eventually the house was overrun and we had to move. Why didn't you come back? Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, 
So I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside DC. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. We took care of each other. And we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world. But you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. He still seems a little like it was at the beginning of this season. A little dickish. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> gonna say the same about you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. Gross. Don't get weird about it. Just say yes. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, me. Shit. I'll get the duck. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die. Everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? David threw his own brother in a cell. Yeah, I know what you mean. This place gives me the creeps. I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. It's going to get bad if we stay. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. But whatever. Just please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. Doesn't seem normal. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills nine out of ten. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. Eleanor, our friend, <laughs> she saved my life. She most certainly did. She's in quarantine with the rest. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can vouch for the rest of them too, right? It doesn't work that way, but we'll make the case for them soon. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. 
I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. Welcome to the show, everybody. Enjoy. We're gonna play this whole episode. So, y'all get comfortable. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> He's been on the road a long time. <laughs> it's quite all right. Maybe a hot meal will help. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi. Take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden? Or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please. Forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so, yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. He'll tell the line. He'll answer to me if he doesn't. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. You can't protect people, Joan. Not completely. Not anymore. <sighs> You're probably right. That doesn't mean we don't have to try. Max, what are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. 
Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. Clementine? The girl we had trouble with in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. Well, let's judge you then. You got some colorful friends. So what if Hobby met up with Clementine? It doesn't mean anything. We kicked her out for a reason, David. Now the two of them are thick as thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. You think I'm bad? You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Harvey? You have something to say? One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl, my niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Hobby, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Go on, Hobby. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They overran Prescott with walkers, ran them in on trucks. Badger did that. Not me! You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop, I swear! David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend, too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive, okay? That was my brother. If he screws me after this, I'm coming after him. <sighs> Wish there was more of a choice right there. I don't know about y'all. I'm not liking this shit. You're lucky I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! Stop! You're gonna get us killed. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back.
Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. What the hell, man? Look, we're not dead. That's something, okay? <laughs> not yet, anyway. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. Oh, let's open it up. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed a bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. We don't even know where the hell we are on this thing. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. That's where we are. And that's where we need to go. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. It's too much. You won't lose anyone else. I won't let that happen. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hobby. Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back. And I got yours. Of course. After you. You're gonna leave the duffel bag? Take that shit with you. You can load it up with other shit later. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna put shed some light in here. I gotta tell you, man. I thought you and Kate were, you know. I mean, I saw you kiss her in the junkyard. And, uh, I ain't judging, mind you. I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but what have we got to lose out here? I... Hey, man, it's all right. Go for it. I do have feelings for her. Maybe I shouldn't, but that doesn't just make them go away. Uh, no harm in saying it. Hell, only real harms in not saying it when you should. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you, if they're one and the same or otherwise, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just when you think you got everything figured out. No, if it wasn't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Just saying, man, three things that never hide forever. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Eleanor and I, we were something at some point, but nothing now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen, tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out, heading the same way we are. A 
we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Okay, look alive, people. I got them. Go! Gather <laughs> up! Home run! Now batting number seven! And it's out of here! Nope, don't think so, buddy. Batter up, fuckface! Bye-bye! <laughs> Come on, man! Move your ass! You want a piece of this? Clementine. Clementine to the rescue. That's my girl. You should be more careful with this. Where are you been now? I thought you were getting out of here. I was. The walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. Not all of us. Kate and Gabe are still there. With David. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Wait, this place we're going, David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. I never wanted to need people again, but I had nowhere else to go. The New Frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. That turned out to be a lie. Now we're gonna find out what happened to AJ. I've been wondering that. I'm sure y'all have too.
plan. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? Um, I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin, that's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you, it could save someone's life if used right. It's too valuable to throw away. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. There's still time. I, I, I have to try. Come on, Goofball. I need you to be brave for me now, okay? Shh, shh. See? It's not so bad. Hey, Jay. Shh. What the hell is this? I told her it was a bad idea. You fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? So selfish? What did you think I would just give up on him? AJ is everything to me, David. I'd do anything to keep him alive. Except there's nothing left to do. That waste, that'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough. We should have left him out in the woods a week ago. But look, it's helping. It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> nothing more. I wish I could tell you it would save him. But that's the reality. That's more than you did, any of you. That's not fair. You ungrateful little shit. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. You've made that pretty damn obvious. This was about his survival. So don't you dare judge me! It's always about survival! We have a better chance of it with you gone. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. I'm not leaving without him. AJ can't travel. All we can do now is make him comfortable. I'm not leaving without him. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. It's what's best for both of you. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, and you go. Please don't make me regret this. Oh, that's some bullshit right there, man. That's some BS right there. I thought AJ would be the one. Finally. 
The one what? The one who didn't die. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. Push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. Force it open. We're gonna have to. Locked. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. Oh, oh man. This thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up. Well, there's a car. No wheels. Hopefully that door holds him. Son, Clem. 
just like you did. What the hell are you doing here? Ask your brother. She's trouble. Trust me. How could you do that to Clem? God, what if it had been Mariana or Gabe? What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. Do you think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke them. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. Everybody fucks up, man. What about forgiveness? We couldn't afford forgiveness. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. I wouldn't have let him. I didn't have to worry about that. He lived, Clem. He lived. But how? He was dying, Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying. I know, it sounds like I'm trying to save my own skin. Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store a vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Not happening, David. They're my family as much as yours. Is that what you think? Last I checked, Kate was my wife and Gabe was my son. Shit! Board it up. We need something to buffer. Something heavy. There! Help me! Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. What the hell is all this? These could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts, for emergencies. Your people looted this stuff from Prescott, David. Come on, we can't know that. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Take cover. Fuck it. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. 
You sure as hell are stupid, Agent. You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. Shame you can't take it with you. David! I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... Stop him! He's getting away! Go! Get Badger! gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. Goddamn guts out! Uh, uh, fuck! You brought this on yourself, Badger. You had it coming a long time. Bring it then. See if I can. See if I give a shit. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. What do you think? No point drawing it out. Yeah. <laughs> Enough, man. He's gone. One more for good measure. For God's sake, Hobby. Richmond! Come on, David. This is Richmond. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? I ain't got nothing to say. There's no use holding out, Max. The best you can do is make things right. We... we weren't doing it without support inside Richmond. Joe was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... 
She said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. Expose her to the others. Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> Hell yeah, we all did, David. We all did, man. Cheers. These assholes are gonna give what's coming to him. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan. Wasn't there one more? Oh. What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. I thought it would at the time. Now... Now I'm not so sure. Hold on to that doubt. It means you're still human. Javi's earned my trust. And if any of you had any brains, you'd say the same. I'm sure you did the right thing. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. My friend took a crowbar to someone once. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human life isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You sure you won't stay? We need your help. So do others. I won't forget about it. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. You said it yourself. If it ain't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Fine. But I expect first-class treatment when we're done. No more quarantine for me or my friends. Just the red fucking carpet. Of course. Whatever you need. Let's just get this done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on. We gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. This is getting good. Episode three is looking real nice. Hope y'all are really enjoying this as much as I am, guys. I'm thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that.
I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clint? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. Give me a little credit, Clem. I can handle David. I really hope you're right. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. Love you too, Clint. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. You know Javi Garcia? Used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. Gonna go ninjas way back in here and stir up trouble. We go in, we get Bell, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. All right. Let's hang out here for a while. Smoke break. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? That shit could burn down the block. You couldn't have just taken out a window. Did the trick, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, really. Find out. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. Like, a lot. We have to leave, Gabe. Now. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Javi, where is he? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi, while you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble, like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. I got a bad feeling from her. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just let her get away with it. You're not hearing me. This is not our problem. What's going on? 
Tripp said we had him into David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. I'm leaving. Which means we're leaving. I'm sorry, Gabe. If we're leaving, I've got to get some things for the road. All my stuff is stashed in the room they gave me. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. I couldn't make that call. She needed to make that call. Gabe, come help. I got it. Come on, buddy. I'm not going, Javi. What? I'm gonna find my dad. I have to. I'm sorry. Gabe, please don't do this. I'm sorry. I love you, Uncle Javi, but this is something I have to do. Gabe. No. Kate. No. Please, Gabe. Please, I never thought I could be a mom. I never thought I wanted to be a mom until I met you and your sister. I'm begging you, don't do this. It's my dad, Kate. I can't lose him again. And I can't lose you. Kate, we need to go. Now. Look at me, Gabe. Please. Man, that's cold, man. I get it, but that's cold. It's his father, Kate. It's what he wants. And this is what you want. What we want. We got so close in the last few years. I... I thought Gabe would want to stay with us. I really saw him as my kid. I guess he didn't feel the same way. He's growing up fast, Kate. We have to trust him to do what's right. I know. It's just hard to say goodbye. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I'd talk fast. Fast and clear. Easy now. We were just on our way out. That's him, right? The brother? Thought so. Bring him in. Run! Oh, this ain't looking good. This ain't looking good at all. I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. What's this? They were trying to leave. Him and his lady friend. Leave? I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. Were you really gonna desert me when I needed you most? Richmond's not safe. It's no place for an injured woman and a boy. So you were just gonna leave me to it, huh? Where are they now? Girl got away. 
No sign of the kid. We'll deal with this later. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. It's over, Joan. You can stop your posturing. Posturing? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities, sending your men to murder and loot. Raiding? Joan, is this true? <laughs> He's pointing the finger at everyone. First Badger, now me. That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max... What do you have to say? Don't be afraid of her, Max. We've got your back. Me, Badger, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Joan's orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Joan. How could you? The real question is, how could I not? What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Do you think our community would survive? I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. It wasn't easy. If you had such good reasons, why keep it a secret? I took the hard decisions on myself. All of you remember the winter, how much we lost. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close, so close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. Surely you can see that. She's fucking delusional. Building a dream on the blood of innocence. You don't have to tell me, brother. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids, too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Take them! What the hell? Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me! That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. You're done here. You put yourself before the group. You won't get away with this, Joan. All of this will come back on you eventually. Paul, come on. I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. So that was pretty good guys, hope y'all enjoyed it. Let's take a look at our selections here. Looks like most of us so far all thought the same. Yeah, a lot of us crushed his skull and he deserved it. Gotta use leverage.
toss up on that one. I, I really couldn't choose on that one, to be honest. It was tough. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it, guys. We'll have episode four look, coming out later this week. Until next time, Denim Dex. Love you all. See you next time.